everyone, this is Maki. The Gundam Seed series movie will be released shortly. I'm very much looking forward to it. Mitsuo Fukuda, the commander of the Gundam Seed series production team, made a statement. The remaster disc of Gundam Seed Destiny comes with a bonus audio drama. This audio drama is not just a comedy, it is connected to the story of the movie. Today, I'd like to discuss the contents of one of the audio dramas. It's a story related to Shinasa and Dasranzar, who are important characters in the Seed series. Let's focus on their conversation during the dinner with Mu no Flager. Shin is summoned by Mu and arrives at the restaurant. In that scene, Shin refers to Mu as Mr. Flager. Mu had lost his memory in the first half of the Sea Destiny story. He was fighting as part of the Earth Alliance forces under the name Neo Orno. Shin battled Neo multiple times. Shin entrusted Stella Lusa the Heron to Neo. Shin made a request to Neo please set her free to a safe place where she can be apart from the battles. Unfortunately, his wish wasn't fulfilled. I think many viewers felt uneasy about the relationship between Mu and Shin. However, in this audio drama, they converse amiably. Does Shin understand that it was an impossible request for Mu, who was simply a commander? This point is not detailed very much in the drama. Mu invited Shin and Dasran for dinner. Shin and Dasran were adversaries in the final battle of Sea Destiny. It becomes clear that concerned surrounding characters requested this meeting from Mu due to the two acting rather awkward with each other. In this audio drama, it's revealed that even in the soft military, a rank system was implemented after the war depicted in Sea Destiny. Izakyu holds the rank of Major, Luash Hawk is a lieutenant junior grade. Even more crucial information is divulged. Mu states that he has taken Shen and Luash into his care from soft. Also, it's revealed that a new initiative called New Security Measures has begun. The term New Security Measures is also mentioned in another drama by Lost Crying. I believe it to be a highly important issue. The surrounding characters were worried about Shin and Dathran, who have significant roles being on bad terms. Though it's a minor detail, it becomes clear what food Shin dislikes during the meal order scene. He dislikes eggplants, shellfish, mushrooms, and anything sour a friend is dumbfounded by the amount of food Shin dislikes. Shin teases a friend, joking about how his Savior Gunnam was shot down by Kira. A friend says I don't have bad blood with Shin. Our relationship is similar to the one I have with Isaac from the soft military. He seems to hold Shin's abilities in high regard and trusts him, but finds it challenging to get close to him as a friend. He seems to view Shin's quick temper almost childlike as a program. The two of them bicker. In this conversation, it becomes apparent that Shin and Kira have a good relationship. Shin speaks highly of Kira. Mr. Kira is an exceptional person. He's large hearted and warm. He has a calm and kind demeanor. He holds Kira in extremely high regard. It also becomes evident that deep down, Shin is thankful to Afran. In the final battle of Sea Destiny, there was a scene where Shin was about to attack Lulash Meyer. He launched the attack in a seemingly deranged state of mind. The one who shut down the Destiny Gunnam as it began to attack was the Infinite Justice Gunnam. Shin musters the courage to thank Afran. Afran, though puzzled, accepts Shin's gratitude. Afran offers Shin some advice in the end. Be careful. If you're hoping to join Kira's team, Kira has a calm disposition, but he can be stubborn. He also tends to avoid troublesome matters and can be a bit lax at times. Afra 
Ryan's words sound a bit like criticism. This conversation sparks another argument between Shin and Dafran. They begin to argue again and then up leaving the restaurant. New Love Flavor tries to chase after them but is stopped to settle the restaurant bill. This is where the audio drama ends. In this story, the possibility of Shin working alongside Kiro is brought up. The prospect of the protagonist from both seed and see Destiny being active at the same time is exciting. The fact that the two of them have a good relationship might also be good news. However, it's unclear who the enemy in the movie will be. If Kira Shin and Dasrin appear from the start of the story as part of the same force, it won't be easy to find a being that can rival them. What are your thoughts? I look forward to meeting you again on our next broadcast.